want to quickly walk you through an interesting uh, fish that came across today. Actually, a co-worker here at Sands reported it. Uh, he received uh, the fishing message uh, via LinkedIn from a long time uh, LinkedIn contact that he actually knew personally. So uh, not an account just uh, set up uh, for uh, this attack. Likely that uh, friends that contacts account got compromised and then used to send these uh, messages. So uh, the phishing message linked to this OneDrive document. This is a PDF. Uh, the PDF doesn't really use any exploit. I grayed out the name of the sender. Uh, that was the name of uh, that LinkedIn uh, contact. And what's sort of interesting is uh, this link here keeps changing. So someone is actively updating uh, this uh, document. Right now it's going to start-iptv.com slash business slash proposal. So if I click on that, I end up with this typical box.com page. And of course, now it uh, wants you here to log in with your Office 365 or whatever account. This is a very uh, common uh, phishing kit here. Uh, what was sort of interesting in one of uh, the incarnations of this page that uh, when you went back uh, into this directory, you actually still had the zip file here with the actual phishing kit. And uh, based on that, uh, I was able uh, to get the URL of the log that it's using uh, to actually log all the victims. In the beginning, uh, you do have a lot of these uh, 127 001. And notice how they are pretty old uh, from January 6th. And then later on here, it starts getting current. And uh, there is one IP address that um, sort of keeps coming back in different uh, versions of this site. And um, uh, let me just uh, switch over uh, to a terminal here. Okay, so I have my uh, terminal up here. So uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, some of uh, these IP addresses. Like I said, this one here is sort of interesting because I've seen that IP address uh, before. And you see how it sort of shows up multiple times here. Back here, it's sort of coming back again. And um, let's switch back here. I always start with a quick host lookup. Nothing. And a quick who is. And then this is an IP address in Nigeria. Uh, and now, there are a couple other addresses uh, that in particular in this particular log and uh, not in the prior ones uh, show up quite often. Of course, once a phishing site like this uh, gets well known, uh, then of course, uh, you also have researchers that, that continuously poll the site to see if, if they change. Well, anyway, just want to give you a quick heads up. Uh, this is what we got here. Other little insight, uh, when we go back to OneDrive, and when you click on the information, you can check how many people or how often this uh, was downloaded. Uh, looks like this PDF was downloaded 242 times. Probably a dozen of those was mine. Not sure if they count uh, unique IP addresses or or just the uh, hits uh, to that page. And then OneDrive also has this version history and uh, here we can actually see how uh, the attacker updated uh, this uh, document. You can download old versions of the document, which of course is kind of nice if you wanna see what uh, phishing sites were actually used uh, for uh, this particular attack. 